Hello everybody, I am John Walczak and I'm the director of your Louisville Zoo. Welcome, welcome to your zoo as we celebrate. This is our 31st year celebrating Earth Day. And Earth Day, that defines the soul of our mission, that's part of our DNA. Your zoo is all about conservation and education. And what a wonderful month. We want to thank LG&E and KU for sponsoring this entire month of April with Party for the Planet and Earth Month. A big thank you to Angie Evans, Vice President of Community All Things Good with LG&E and KU. Thank you, Angie. Thank you, LG&E and KU. We really appreciate everything that you do for your zoo. So today we have some wonderful young artists and musicians that we are here to recognize and thank for their beautiful creations. Today we're going to be looking at art that we call trash formation and the great work that these young artists do taking things that are recycled that they can turn into beautiful art features. They do also do great musical instruments and we call that the landfill orchestra. So we'll be looking at all their great work and announcing the winners of these beautiful creations. But before we get into that, I want to say congratulations to all of you. All of you that young folks have created these beautiful art pieces and musical instruments, every single one of you are winners. We are so appreciative by your inspiration that you provide us. You're passionate about the planet and you, you do great things and we need you. You know, there's 7.9 billion of us now, 7.9 billion of us on planet Earth. And this is the only spaceship we've got. And that population is tripled in my lifetime. So it's so important that we consider what we could do to take great care of Mother Earth. So thank you for your work. We look forward to looking at everything you've created. And we've got some great local artists here to help us with that celebration. Teddy Abrams with the Louisville Orchestra will be here to look at those instruments and announce those winners. And also Ed Hamilton, renowned, world-renowned sculptor, will be here to look at some of that art and again, recognize your fine, fine work. So we thank you, again, a big thank you to LG&E and KU for sponsoring Earth Month and Party for the Planet and these beautiful artworks. This is a great time to celebrate our planet for all of us to consider what we could do. What's our planetary legacy gonna be to keep this big, beautiful planet healthy? So let's announce these awards. We'll start with preschool through kindergarten, homeschooler Cadence Felicity King created a group of animals out of a variety of materials to remind us that many things we use every day are able to be recycled, and many animals can be safer when we do. We completely agree, Cadence Felicity. Thank you for carrying the animals we share this planet with. Grades one through two. Dottie Matthews made a lightning bug with a recycled two liter bottle and chicken wire for legs. Dottie said, I think it's important to recycle so the animals in the ocean won't get trapped in garbage and trash. You can also compost apple cores and banana pills. I do that with my dad to use it for our crops and our gardens. It's called composting. Grades three through five, fifth grader Madison Alvey made a great giraffe with the soft drink cans, aluminum wire, paper mache, and burlap for the tail. All right, now we're gonna to toss this over to Angie Evans and she's gonna look at some of those wonderful musical instruments that are made out of recycled trash. Hello, I'm Angie Evans, Vice President of Corporate Responsibility and Community Affairs at LG&E and KU Energy. Thank you for joining us again for this year's Party for the Planet and Trash Formation Student Art Contest. This is the 12th year that we partnered with the Louisville Zoo for our Party for the Planet. It's such an exciting month for you to come and enjoy the zoo and learn more about how to protect the earth. And we're always excited to partner with the Louisville Zoo. This year, our contest was a bit different, as many things this year have been different. We actually had the contest virtually, and students submitted amazing photographs of the art and musical instruments that they made from recycled and repurposed material. So we were able to get more entries than we ever had before, nearly 300 entries. Thank you, students, for your great submissions, and it was a tough contest to judge. I'm thrilled to announce the first half of the 2021 music winners. Preschooler, Carly Neal made a drum set of cardboard, plastic containers, an old plastic laundry basket piece, old flea extension, and paper towel rolls for the drumsticks. She said, I love using recyclable items to make something new and fun to play with. Congratulations, Carly. Grades first and second, first grader Layla Neal, who happens to be our first winner, Carly's sister, 
made a guitar out of cardboard, plastic lids, and elastic from old birthday hats. She said, I love using recyclable trash to do projects and make new things. Because of that, I get to enjoy the items more than once and for more than one purpose. Plus, I love guitars. Congratulations, Layla. Grades third through fifth. Fifth grader Christopher Dioki created a percussion owl with plastic forks and knives to create sounds on a gallon milk jug. The sounds can be created by dragging, tapping, or striking it at different intervals. Christopher is repurposing even more. He told us that it will be now used for a slow drip irrigation for plants around his home. That's pretty exciting, Christopher, and that's repurposing at its best. Congratulations to you. Thank you to all of the students who made submissions to us this year. We look forward to you coming back next year and seeing what amazing things you can make for us to look at and judge. Be good to the earth, and I'll see you soon. Hello, everyone. I'm Teddy Abrams, the music director and conductor of your Louisville Orchestra, and I am so excited to be here with you all to announce the winners of our collaboration with the Louisville Zoo, Trash Formation, specifically the musical instrument department of Trash Formation. And we call this our landfill orchestra. The whole idea is to take trash and recyclables and to convert them into musical instruments, which we think is so much fun because really an instrument is anything that makes a sound that you love. And over the last few years, we have seen some of the very coolest, most inventive, creative ideas ideas for what an instrument can be and this year is no exception so I'm really sorry that we can't be together because one of my favorite things is actually getting to play the instruments for everyone but still we want to celebrate because there were so many incredible submissions and I am delighted to announce two of the winners first of all seventh grader Hannah Hogg made a percussion and string instrument out of a paper towel roll a strawberry case, a plastic cup, and rubber bands. It's fantastic. Congratulations, Hannah. And next, 10th grader Woody Hodgen from Holy Cross made a banjo using a wheel, rubber bands, and cardboard. In his statement, he mentions that he really wants to play an instrument because of this project. So fantastic work, Woody. Both of you did such an incredible job. I can't wait to hear these instruments in person. Congratulations, and let's all get together to make some music with our new landfill instruments through Trash Formation. Hi, I'm Ed Hamilton, sculptor here at my studio, where I too have created things from different objects that I have found out in, the, uh, in our streets. As a fellow artist, I'm always curious to see what the young people are creating. Art is important. Taking care of our planet is important. I'm happy to announce the second half of the 2021 individual winners for Trash Formation. Grades six through eight, sixth grader Nathaniel Carwell created a wonderful sea turtle using items in ocean trash that kills turtles. Things like plastic cups, fake bait, a tin can, plastic bags, netting, fish hooks, and a bobber. Nathaniel reminds us that this shows that anything can be recycled, even the oddest of things. He says it shows that the turtles need our help from the mess that we have made. And God knows we have made a mess. And let's go to grades nine through 12. 12th grader Lila Allport turned all kinds of materials around the house into a portrait of Einstein. She said, she thought he had a very creative mind, and she used very creative things to create him. Congratulations to all the winners, and keep making beautiful art. And, don't, and remember, we have to save our planet. Congratulations to all of you that have won this great competition. And again, remember, every single one of you, every submission, you are all winners. Keep that passion. Keep your art interests. Keep the world healthy. Congratulations to you all. You are our inspiration. Your young passion is going to make this world an even better place. Thank you, and on behalf of your zoo, thanks to everyone. Thanks to LG and NKU. Thanks to Angie Evans. Thanks to Teddy Abrams and Ed Hamilton for judging and all the hard work that went into these creations. Celebrate the planet every day.